hello guys welcome to tech advice channel so today guys uh, in this video i'm going to show you that how to install vs code uh, in your windows uh, uh, pc basically so here in this video i'm going to show you that uh, uh, how to uh, run that uh, vs code with your python um, installed in your pc basically so if you are watching this video guys so please uh, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and uh, so i can i have a latest video so it will reach uh, to you once you press the bell icon so let's start uh, that how to start uh, the um, uh, installation process so first of all i have to visit the google uh, so where i just write that uh, um, uh, visual studio code then you can see that okay first uh, link it will come it will come the visual studio code that and click on that so it will redirect to the their website so now we I have an option download for Windows so when I click here so you can see that I have a three option basically for Mac or Windows uh, x64 and Linux x64 so here I download for Windows x64 so as my uh, Windows is 64-bit uh, so that's why I download the 64-bit one so I just click on uh, the download option so my downloading started so here you can see that uh, my download uh, started already so it will take a bit time uh, depending on your on your internet connection so now i just want to show you uh, that uh, my uh, python path or python where uh, like in my pc basically i install the python so that one i just show you okay i just open the command prompt and where i write uh, the python and then hyphen version so it will show me that okay uh, what version i'm using 3.9.7 so here I write the pi also you can see that once I write the pi so it will redirect to the python uh, 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 console basically and so now again I show you that python path okay uh, which path is basically that path is basically is required for the vs code also uh, so you can see that uh, local c drive program file python 39 so here is my path basically so guys why i'm showing this one because this path is necessary for the um, python installation when you install the python so you can see the the install uh, this path is required for the uh, environment variable so you can you have to come the system um, settings and in the system setting you can see that environment variable so you can in the environment variable you can see that path also present for python okay uh, so basically if you don't have any python so you just create the new variable well name and variable value and value basically is the path one so basically okay let me show you that uh, my one i have already so environment variable so if i go down system variable you can see that path already defined like which one i'm using so if i click in details you can see that uh, c program file python 39 okay it's present so the same uh, same path so this path if you not assign for the system variable so it will also not work for python basically so if you guys don't know you can see that just create the new and then okay paste your path and then okay so for my case i have already so i don't need to create again so i just cancel it so guys if you don't know that how to create the path also you can see my video i have a python uh, video so my file already downloaded so now i just click on that file to ins for installation so i click okay another time okay okay so ah, okay i already uh, click two double uh, double times so that's why it's come two times okay okay uh, so now okay now i can install this uh, file which one i just downloaded so i accept the agreement uh, next and this is the path actually it will create uh, in my c drive uh, this is the name uh, and next okay create a desktop icon and then i just uh, uh, do next okay here you can see that add path basically uh okay and just click the next one yep yep next okay uh so next install so guys uh her file will install now and one thing i just uh, uh, want to say with you that if you guys don't know that how to set up the path for python and how to install the python uh, also on your windows uh, pc so if you don't know so you can just uh, go to uh, the description uh, then i have a link there how to install python then you can uh, can learn from that video too so here installation done so i just finish it mm, so yeah once i finish it so you can see that uh, one windows will be pop up so it's basically uh, it will open that uh, vs uh, uh, code 
so right now you see that nothing is present here no no any uh, things is here no any code or nothing no only folder is connected with this vs uh, uh, console basically so i have a three option for uh, choose this console actually look like light has been white color and dark has been the, the uh, dark color basically and the highest contrast so I choose the dark one. Mm, so here we have a uh, option for option five option. Uh, first is explorer. Uh, second is our search option, and then third we have uh, uh, source control, and then uh, fourth we have uh, basically run and debug. Uh, so it's basically for running and debugging. And fifth one is basically the extension. So sometimes we need to require the extension. So for in this case also we need extension because. Uh, we have to integrate the python here so now i just write the python then it will show me the python basically extension one and then you can see that when okay let me click here and install this python extension in this console uh, so once this python installation will be done then it will be automatically integrated with your python uh, uh, which one is basically assigned in that uh, system uh, I already show you that uh, Python already installed in my PC. If you guys don't know that how to install, then you can see my video. Uh, I have another video which one shows uh, that how to install the P uh, Python on your PC. So here uh, you can see that Python already installed. So now I go to the Explorer and here just assign the folder. Uh, basically, it's a create a folder where all my project will be stored. So I assigned a D folder, basically a D drive, basically, and there I create a Python program. So you see here that folder will be assigned here yeah uh, it will be trusted because i trust this uh, folder because basically this belongs to my pc so uh, yes uh, i trust uh, the authors okay so now you see that my folder already connected uh, here in vs code so now i can create any file here so if i create here uh, like a test dot py and okay the file is already created now i can write the code here in the file in the uh, python file basically okay so i just print uh, something uh, so okay, let me print uh, take uh, advice mm, so okay take uh, advice so once i write this one uh, so and then i debug basically mm, yeah run and debug uh, then it will debug automatically so first time when you run so it will you know take a bit time like one two second and then it will initialize your path basically you assign so uh, then after that it will it will automatically uh, uh, okay no problem uh, because the second time it would first time basically so it's to take a bit time you can see here first time it take time because of d drive then folder py program then uh, my python uh, file basically so if i run say, every time like a second time third time it will, it will be easy so if i just run like normally uh, because i already did one time so now if i run another time so it will it will be easy and then it will run uh, easily quickly so you can see you see i just uh, run the second the second time and it's quickly and it's showing that okay it's uh, it's a d drive and that uh, program for folder basically so uh guys uh, this is the all about that um, how can you install the uh, visual studio code on your uh, pc so if you guys have any problem any issue related to uh, vs code uh, then please write down to me i will give you answer or if you have any suggestion so you can just ask me so uh, i'll give you a suggestion so if you like this video please share subscribe and like and comment also thank you friend thank you for watching this video